Hi all, Mass Barnkop from Kaiser Power Electronics here, here at the Roskiller Festival 2022 at the CERN tent. I have met up with a lot of different scientists and also startup companies. The startup is based in Copenhagen from DTU, but most of these employees are from Ukraine. So I'll let the Light Novo introduce themselves. Thank you very much for this exciting opportunity to present us and our technology. This is this is a small tool that we produce. About us, we are all from Ukraine. Me, me personally, I'm PhD in optics and I was in DTU already last six years where we all together developed a breakthrough technology. I'm lead scientist in Light Novo and we developed this, pro uh, this product up to all different applications. Here we can measure something like liquids. We also can do this for powders or any unknown chemical substances. I'm Andrei Kutsik. Uh, I am industrial postdoc uh, in uh, Light Novo and uh, DTU Energy. Uh, I am responsible for data analysis and chemometrics, uh, which help us to uh, create algorithms uh, to quantify uh, different mixtures uh, quantitatively. We managed how to make bulky spectrometers, chemical analyzers, much smaller, much less, exp uh, less expensive, and uh, while keeping research grade performance. So this is actually a chemical analyzer. No matter what you shine with the laser, uh, any kind of uh, organic and organic sample, it will provide you the chemical composition and we are going to demonstrate it. Yes, yeah, so this is basically spectrometer and it is laser based. So if you turn it on, you will probably see laser shining. Oh, not here, not here, but some... Oh! <laughs> and... Uh, it can uh, excite materials to show vibration in molecules, in molecular bonds, so we can identify different uh, chemical substances. And it is uh, quite bright here now, so we should probably use some tool to protect sensitive parts from light to see something. So, for example, we have here some liquid. We put it in a container. And here is the spectrum. Let's see if we can identify what it is. Let's try to do this. Oh, it's grapeseed oil, actually. And if you take something other, what is this? This is methanol. And it could be actually detected using this device in low concentration in any alcoholic uh, drinks, so it's helpful in that respect. Also, it can be used to measure not only liquids, but also powders. But we need to change optics. Here we have some white powders, white powders in the back. You never know what it is, but we can try to check what it is. Yeah, it's carbamazepine. It's a kind of... I don't know what it is. <laughs> some kind of substance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... it's some drug. Ketoprofen is kind of painkillers. So you see they are all white powder, but we can really distinguish what it is with high confidence, with high precision. Paracetamol, usual paracetamol. Of course, it can test all kinds of drugs, illegal, uh, legal, illegal. So it's a very nice tool, I think. And having it in that small size is real advantage because previously this technology was available only in like Table top devices, huge and not running on battery like this. With this very small scene, I think we both are trying to implement the old dream because uh, before us, this kind of method, Raman spectroscopy, was very expensive, uh, much larger, and available only for professionals in the field customs, police officers, fast chemical identification, precise chemical analysis, also researchers and uh, pharmaceutical industry, uh, drugs identification and so on. Uh, 
and it always required this technology is actually where you shine by laser a spot and you collect just several photons as a signal that represents chemical information and that's why it require very precise lasers very sensitive detectors and expensive optics this is a patented technology where we all together managed we combined optical knowledge electronic knowledge post-processing data analysis knowledge to make it at this small factor at research grade performance mm, in short this is based we are the first who implemented a reference channel that independent from the sample measurement process so inside we have also a sample with known raman spectrum and we always calibrate on it intensity and wavelengths which avail which make us possible to get precise calibration always and uh, devices capable to do quantitative analysis as good as highly stabilized systems in, in our field. So this is in short about the benefits of this scene. We believe that when we will scale up the production, it could be so popular that basically consumers, each of us, would be, poss would be able to purchase it and analyze chemicals around in terms of the toxicity, uh, the performance, toys in a supermarket, uh, gemstones. A big thank you to uh, Lightnovo to showcase their product. And as a startup company, I really think it's worth helping them brand and make uh, some uh, publicity for such an awesome development. Really bringing down spectrometry into your hands. So that's really an awesome feat, guys. Great job. So uh, thank you. And good luck with your products.